Do you think the world is going to be a better place next year? Perhaps the next decade? Can we end hunger, achieve gender equality, and stop climate change all in the next nine years? As surprising as this might be, the answer is yes. Six years ago in New York, the, go the governors of the world united in a United Nations meeting, and they came up with a plan to solve all of these problems, but mainly climate change. And these are the goals. As you see, they are 17. They all have a different sign and color. And as is stated on the official United Nations website, the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs for short, were adopted by the United Nations in 2015 as a, universe, as a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that by 2030, all people enjoy peace and, prosper, and prosperity. The 17 SDGs in, are integrated. They recognize that action in one area will affect outcomes in others and that development most, must balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability. Countries have committed to prioritize progress for those who are furthest behind, and the SDGs are designed, no, yeah, and the SDGs are designed to end poverty, hunger, AIDS, and discrimination against women and girls. Now, I know they seem like a lot, and it seems like it's gonna be very, tough reaching them or working with them, integrating them into our lives. But it takes one person to make a great change. Now, I'll go one by one explaining what we should do to solve these problems and if not to end them, because it'd be really hard to at least lower the rates of them by 2030 starting with no poverty, which is number one. What can we do? Donate what we do not use anymore. Number two, zero hunger. We need to waste less food and support local markets. Good health and well-being. If you are able, get vaccinated and vaccinate your families. Also, go to the doctor, get those checkups, Make sure your health is aligned and everything is working as it should be in your bodies. Number four, quality education. Help educate children in your countries. Help them get, help them get a proper education as it is hard. Um, number five, gender equality. Empower women and girls and ensure their equal rights. Girls are mainly living a very tough situation right now in the world. We are now just being aware of it and it should be eradicated. Clean water and sanitation. Avoid wasting water. Um, affordable and clean energy. Use only energy efficient appliances and light bulbs. Decent work and economic growth. Create job opportunities for the youth. Industry, innovation, and infrastructure fund projects that provide basic infrastructure. Reduced inequalities. Support the marginalized and disadvantaged. There are many communities that are marginalized and disadvantaged, as I stated before, like the black community, the LGBTQ community, the Asian community, all of those communities that do not get the same recognition and whose voices are silenced just because they are you could say different when they are really not. They are the same as us and deserve the same respect. Sustainable cities and communities. Bike, walk, or use public transportation. If you can tell a friend to take you somewhere, if you two can um, get somewhere together in order to reduce um, the waste that the vehicles leave into the earth, um, it would be amazing. 
um, responsible consumption and production, recycled paper, plastic, glass, and aluminum, climate action, act now to stop global warming. I could go on and on about it, but it's a lot. And there's already a lot of information on the internet, as well as my friends from TED who have already given their talks. They have already gone in depth on it. Um, life below water. Avoid plastic bags and straws to keep the ocean clean. You know, as Pisco Girl said, save the turtles. Um, life on land. Plant a tree and help protect the environment. It takes less than minutes to plant a tree. And, I mean, if you want to be selfish, you could plant a tree of your favorite fruit or vegetable. Like, for example, mine are apples. Um, peace, justice, and strong stand up for human rights. And finally, partnerships. Lobby your government to boost development financing. If your government isn't doing its job, isn't doing what it should be doing, do something about it. Tell them. Write a letter. Whatever. Now, basically, those are all of the steps you must follow in order to help achieve a better world by 2030. And as I said before, I know it's tedious and I know it's hard, but don't you think we owe it to Mother Earth? She has given us so much and we have taken it all for granted. Now, thank you for listening to me today and I hope I see you in a very near future. Or might I say, 2030, just like the agenda says. Thank you.